All right, so what's up, fam? It's your girl, Jen Ether, and you are back with another episode of Gods and Goddesses Terror, or Weather Report Terror Readings. Second time I done messed this up with y'all, so I don't know what's going on. Maybe you guys have been uh, having a hard time communicating, or maybe having a hard time actually communicating how what you're thinking, because it's like maybe you guys are uh, thinking first, or thinking faster than what you communicate, you know what I mean? But anyway... I don't have much time. I'm doing this in between work. I already posted. I haven't I'm, I haven't released it yet, but on YouTube, I have it ready to go. Your Sagittarius Part 1, because I had to break this up into two parts. So your Part 1 reading is on there, and it's basically just me giving you what I got out of meditation. So any type of, any type of uh, pulls that I got from just being deep in meditation, I also did some channel in front of television and used my intuition. So let's get straight into your reading. So, like, basically, make sure you watch that part one, because when I do the channeling and the meditation, that sets it all up for what's, what, what, what cards will be actually pulled. So make sure y'all go check that out. Don't neglect part one, because it's going to be a lot of great information that will go along with it, or it may just at least help build the storyline to the card pulling. So the first card I pulled for my Sagittarius is in love. This is a love reading, and it's a general, so you want to take the messages as they resonate. Since I'm reading for so many Sagittariuses in the world, it would be impossible for every message to resonate with every single Sagittarius. So if you feel it resonates or if this is matching up with your story, you take it and keep it. If you feel like this ain't me, then dip out. Don't take it. Don't make anything fit that don't fit. All right, let's get to it. The first card pull for your energy is this Two of Swords. Now, when I look at this particular Two of Swords, I see a woman who's in deep thought, a feminine energy. So you could be possibly the feminine in the in the love situation. And it's like you're in deep thought. You got the crescent moon over top of your head, and you got your swords up. So it's like you're not really communicating. You don't got your sword drawn because the sword represents communication and thought. So with your sword being up at the position of your head, I feel like you're in deep mental thought. And possibly even use a meditation. And there could be, with you guys having the blindfold on, at some, even though you're meditating, for some of you guys, you also need to take this blindfold off, whether it's through intuition and using meditation so you can see clearly through the veil, or literally just opening your eyes so you can really see, maybe being deceived. And in the channeling, I got like that pendulum swing where it was like, like I said, the pendulum is supposed to give you an answer. So right, for me, I, t I, I program answers for right, yes, left, no. So when I ask a question, if it continuously goes to the right, I know that's my yes. If it continuously goes to the left, I know that's my no. But if it's just doing this, I don't know what the fuck to do. So it's like, I feel like this is why you guys have gone into this because your pendulum was swinging everywhere. You didn't really know what decision was the right decision. So you forced you into this two of swords position, deep thought meditation so the next card we have is this two of wands which always represents the the two wands represents the number 11 which is a doorway now once you walk past this doorway everything as you know it will be changed but it's like you guys are hesitant from walking towards the doorway and if you notice this guy's holding the world in his hand so with this card popping up it's like you guys have everything you need in the palm of your hand you got the whole world in your hand you got everything you need all the knowledge you need whether it's in your conscious mind or whether it's lodged in your subconscious mind if it's in your subconscious mind that's why this position of the meditation would be definitely important for you to go through so you can pull whatever the answer is out of your subconscious mind but this card definitely represents that you have the whole world in your hand but you're still weary about it because you're refusing or hesitant to walk through these two wands these two wands have growth on the top of them so that's symbolizing a, uh, maybe fertility, uh, definitely abundance. And like I said, the, the wands represent a gateway. So it's like a new portal you guys will be walking into. So the next card we have is the Page of Wands. Now Sagittarius, you guys are the fire sign. So wands is representing Leo, Sagittarius, and Aries. So this is definitely you popping up both times in your own reading. So right here, it's like you're, let's see. Okay, where these cards are placed at, it's like, you have this choice to make to walk through these wands, but it's almost like you're turned away from them and screaming out somewhere else. 
Yeah, you're turned away from them and screaming towards something else. So, let's see. Let's clarify the Page of Wands. So, what's Page of Wands? Clarify the Page of Wands for Sagittarius and love. So, I don't know. There could be a decision that you guys are trying to avoid making and literally turning your back on it to maybe either get gather more information, maybe you're screaming out for help, or maybe you're just screaming at someone else you want to holler at. All right, so yeah, we got the, the page of wands to clarify. We got this four of wands that popped out, which represents stability. A lot of readers, including myself, say this is the twin flame card, but I'll know more to see what else pops out. So yeah, we got that, but then we also got the knight of wands, which I never do reversals, but we do have the Knight of Wands in reverse at the bottom of the deck. So it's like, whatever you're calling out to, you see it as a something that can bring in stability, but you're, the Knight of Wands at the bottom of the deck in reverse shows that you're being hesitant to rush in and grab your stability. So let's keep clarifying for this page. Page of Wands. Keep clarifying. You're popping up all over your reading, they said. These wands keep coming up, so we know we are tapped into your energy. Yeah. So yeah, you're calling out. It's like, you know whatever you're calling out for or whatever you're calling out to get assistance on is definitely going to bring you stability, passion. And I mean, possibly, this could be possibly you're calling in your twin flame relationship and it will also bring you divine, a divine wish fulfillment. Yeah, divine wish fulfillment with this Ace of Pentacles being pulled. So the next card we have is the Page of Swords. So... This could be, you've been popping up in your own energy. So this could be you. Hmm. Okay, so let's, let's, it's about to take a little crazy turn. I'm starting to feel like these swords, because th they're right up under each other. This is the two of swords, and this is the page of swords. So I'm feeling like this is a separate person, because they're right up under each other, and all your energy has been clustered together. So I feel like you have someone that is spying on you, maybe checking out your social media. Maybe they also are feeling like there's a strong connection, but they're also not trying to walk through the gate. So they're just kind of spying and going through their, uh, their deep thoughts, meditation, and try to figure this out. So let's keep clarifying for this Two of Swords and Page of Swords. This could also be uh, Libra, Aries. Or Aquarius, I want to say. No, not Aries. Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius represents the sword signs. Cause, so you could be dealing with someone with that in their chart. Sorry, guys. It's probably definitely going to have to be... I don't know. I'm going to finish this up in one part for fuck that. Yeah, this person is using their intuition to try to figure this out. Too many cards. This person is definitely using this, their intuition. And I believe you kind of know, but you're not going to. It's almost like says you're not going to take that leap of faith and walk through the wands to your divine partnership unless you know this person knows for sure. So I think that's what's actually holding you back. And this is right next to it. So right here we got. This person in deep thought meditation, trying to figure it out, also doing some spying, represented by the card up under it. But then we also have you, Sagittarius, in your fire energy, refusing to walk through, even though you know you got the world in your hands, even though you do want to call out to this person and call them in because you see them as your twin flame or soulmate divine connection. But it's like you can't do any of those things unless that person takes the blindfold off and actually stops spam, but speaks the truth. Like, it really comes to you with that offer of love. So let's keep clarifying. So the next card pulled to clarify the Page of Swords is this Three of Pentacles. Hmm. The Star card. The Death card. The Chariot and the Empress. I'm going to have to stop for a second and get right back on, y'all. 